pass, the death angel will pass over that house. And there'll be salvation in that house. And this morning, maybe you're here and you've never really accepted Jesus as your Savior. Well, what the Lord wants to do in your life is just as it, it's, it's not cheap, it's the most costly thing ever. But He never made it complicated. Jesus died. What, what does Jesus have to do? One time a woman came into my office and said, Pastor, what does Jesus dying on a cross 2,000 years ago have to do with me? America today. And I said, you know what the key is? I said, God has made one way to heaven. I said, because everything you've done, all of the sins you've done, there's nothing you can make up for. I said, God doesn't put on a scale when you get to heaven. All your good works here, all your bad works here, and hopefully all your good work works will outweigh your bad. And that's, I said, God said that stuff is absolutely wrong. You know how God does it? Let me tell you how God does it. God doesn't at heaven, God doesn't put all your good works on one side and all your bad works on the other side of the scale and see which one outweighs the other. Silliness. You know what God does? God takes all of your good works and all of your bad works and He puts them all on one side of the scale. There's absolutely nothing on the other side of the scale until you accept Jesus and suddenly Jesus stands on the other side of the scale and He outweighs all of your good stuff and your bad stuff. Because even your good stuff is as filthy rags in the sight of God. So what happens is that blood was so powerful they could say, well maybe I ought to get a bazooka. Maybe I can get an armored tank. Maybe I can get something to protect me. Can you imagine the power of that death angel in Egypt? The only thing that protected them was the 